No tomorrow. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, <laughs> you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, what the heck y'all? Always, I've always got dogs, always. It's your table, but you're a good boy, you're a good boy. Yes, all right. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me with the dogs. But today's video, I'm just going to show y'all kind of like my day and, um, you know, cleaning inside the horse trailer and getting everything situated and just stuff like that. Um, and just kind of go throughout my day with y'all. I wanted to show y'all some stuff. Um, I wanted to get some better footage of the town and what they've done as far as cleaning up. But you can't see it real well because it has snowed like I don't know, three feet? I don't know. That's a lot, I think. I don't know. <laughs> it snowed a lot. Let me just put it that way. Anyways, so I hope that y'all enjoy. This is like having two toddlers beside me, y'all. It's literally like having two toddlers. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi, Howdy, Bubba's. No, get down now. Oh, my word. Anyways, so I hope that y'all enjoy this video. If you do, stop. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus, hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. And if you didn't know, I have been doing um, the 365 day daily devotional by Sarah Young. I personally have been doing that myself. So I decided that I would share it with y'all. So every day, Monday through Friday, I pop on with a little 10 minute ish video just to read that daily devotional, have a little bit of girlfriend time and it's awesome. So I would love for you to join me to do that. If you have missed any of those, I'll have them linked in the description box. And if you're wondering what I'm doing in a horse trailer and like what happened to her DIYs, <laughs> then you have certainly missed a lot. So I'll have those videos linked in the description box as well. You can get yourself caught back up on exactly what's going on. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoy this and let's get started. So starting out in the horse trailer, I just start by picking everything up and kind of finding a place for it. Now, when we moved in this horse trailer, I tried to kind of organize our things, which we didn't have a lot, but what we did have, I tried to organize it pretty well. And then I bought this little stick back from the Dollar General store. It's a Bissell stick back and y'all, it works perfectly for this, this horse trailer. I'm able to get the floors. I can vacuum across the top of the bed for any kind of like dog hair or anything like that. It just, it really works perfect in this, this small little space that we've got. But making the bed is a little complicated. <laughs> because <laughs> as you can see there, there's no room on the sides for you to actually kind of get to make the bed. So I just put a comforter down and then put another comforter on top of it. And we just sleep on top of the bottom comforter, if that makes sense. But anyways, I did try to kind of fix the bed up a little bit to, you know, represent us a little more. I found some cute little throw pillows at Walmart and cute little leopard throw. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, it's all done now. Thank goodness. So grateful for this little place. I love that I could add a couple little touches to make it mine while we're here. Um, but I am super grateful for this little place. I think it is very nice. And we are very, very lucky to have the opportunity to stay here. So it's kind of like camping. It's, it's It'll be okay. <laughs> Anyways... As you can see, though, it doesn't take long to clean up and, you know, get everything situated because it's so small in here, but definitely very cool. Oh, and I wanted to show you all something else. So I'm not trying to blind you, but check out my new light. Y'all, this is like a, I don't know how big the ring is, but my kids got me that for Christmas. How cool is that? I lost all of my lighting with the tornado, so the kids bought me that for Christmas. I just think that is so super special. Of course, get on my nicely made bed. Make sure you get it all scruffed up. 
Y'all, me and these dogs. Booker, Booker, whoa. What's Booker doing? What is he the Booker doing? And then there's Reef. This is Booker. This is Reef. And I'm sure y'all know Bella. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I would ever told y'all the puppies' names, though. Yeah, this is Booker. Booker Boo. Oh, he's so precious. And then the gray one. Now, don't look in the bathroom, guys, because that's I hadn't started on that part yet. But anyways, hey, you, Reef. Reef, look at me. You pretty thing. Yes, you pretty thing. <laughs> Oh, me. All right. Well, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Now, getting ready in the horse trailer is a whole nother story. <laughs> we actually shower inside my mother-in-law's house and then come out to the horse trailer and get dressed. And then, you know, of course, makeup and hair and, you know, whatever. But um, the little bathroom, thank goodness it's got plug-ins because I'm able to plug in my straight iron and, and my curling iron and, you know, whatnot. Just the little things that I need. But it is, you know, a perfect little spot. It's not big, but it, it works. It does the job. <laughs> Come here. What do y'all think about the snow? Check it out. Yeah, what do you think about it? Oh, do you love it? So, I'm actually headed over to my mother-in-law's house. That's this one. We are staying in the horse trailer. I don't make y'all dizzy, but I'm actually headed to my mother-in-law's house for a good old pot of chicken and dumplings. She cooked supper tonight, so woohoo! Can't wait for that, and they are delicious, y'all. All right, come on, little boys! Come on, little boys! Come on, little boys! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, little boys! Come on, babies! Yes, you love the snow. Do you love the snow? Oh my goodness. Get out of Nana's flower bed, silly goose. All right, come on, let's go in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Was it good, babe? Babe, I can't taste. Okay. Why do you just video me saying that? What? I was going to put you on my channel because I put the chicken and dumplings on the channel. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show y'all something. So this is like the front steps, I guess you call it, into the horse trailer. And it's super early this morning. It has snowed like two feet, y'all. But look at how pretty that lake is this morning. It's just gorgeous. I love it here. Horse trailer and all. I love it here. Hopefully, we're going to be getting into one of these little cabins um, within maybe the next week or so. We're trying to get the water and electric turned on to it, and hopefully we're going to, you know, be in one of those cabins and stay there um, until we get, you know, things figured out. But it'll give us a little more room than obviously the horse trailer has. <laughs> this is my mother-in-law and them's pool. So that just shows you how close to the water we are. It's beautiful. Good morning, guys. So it is like seven in the morning and I am up, dressed, ready with bells on. Um, today I go to Brownsville, Tennessee. Um, that is where my father-in-law's fish market is. So I'm going there to work today. I usually work there every Friday and Saturday. And I thought that I would bring you guys along today. I wanted to show you all the fish market because it's very cool. So I just thought that would be something fun to do. Um, obviously, I'm in the horse trailer. It is what it is right now. Hey, this sucker's nice, so we're good. <laughs> you know anyways all right so i'm sitting here waiting on miss althea she is the lady that she and i like carpool back and forth um like she drives one week i drive one week you know that kind of thing so anyways i'm waiting on her but as soon as she gets here we're going to be leaving out and headed to um the fish market all right i'll see y'all there so we are on our way to brownsville and it is pretty sketchy <laughs> yes the roads are looking pretty rough actually but we're gonna make it 
This is Miss Althea. Say hi, Miss Althea. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's my rowdy for sure, for sure. So this is the fish market. We haven't taken our tree down yet. We'll get on that. There's Philip and Mamaw. We do the cooked fish on this side. And then you have the raw fish on this side. You can cut any way you want. And there's the man. That's the boss. This is my father-in-law, Larry. He owns it. <laughs> this is Papa. He's our handyman. Slash runner, go picker upper. Slash, he's the boss man. He thinks. <laughs> yeah, slash boss man. That's exactly right. We love some Papa. Y'all, we have the best hush puppies you have ever put in your mouth. <laughs> they are absolutely delicious. They're actually my father-in-law's um, recipe, too, so that's pretty cool. But we cook um, whole cat catfish. We also cook fillets and steaks of catfish. And then we cook rib bone of buffalo. So it's catfish and buffalo. That's what we sell down there. You can get cooked plates. You can get the raw fish. Um, get it any way you want it. We sell it by the plate, by the piece, by the pound, however you want it. We're kind of like, um, what is it, uh, Burger King? You can get it your way. <laughs> Anyways, we do serve plates on the cooked side. Are you showing it off? Boss man. <laughs> Brownsville really is a awesome little place to work. It honestly is. Not only um, just the family connection that there is, you know, because everybody's related that works there, but then also that um, community that, that you have where you make family with the people that come in every week. You know, you've got your regulars that come in all the time. And then it's pretty cool because we actually have people that come from all around, like Memphis, Jackson, you know, good good bit from us that actually come to get our fish because we're famous for the fried fish or the, you know, the raw fish, whatever, but very cool little place to work. And I just, I absolutely love it. I love it down here. Okay. So I just wanted to hop in here. I hope that you guys are enjoying the video thus far. Um, obviously my content is a little different these days and I mean, I, I'm just doing the best that I can. I hope that you guys are enjoying it though. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family subscribe. That would be awesome. <laughs> Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right. So for the ending of this video, I've got a little bit of footage um, from before and then like leading into my two youngest, my the little ones, y'all. I always call them the little ones. There was like my oldest and then the two little ones. Well, they're not the little ones anymore, guys. I, I'm really like, ugh, I'm having trouble with it. I am. But anyways, they went to their very first high school winter formal this year. So I wanted you guys to see this. I was so proud of both of them. Um, my daughter is obviously, you'll, you'll have seen her on the channel before, but you've not really seen my son, but maybe a few times here and there, little bits. Um, he doesn't come on as often, but he is the one in the blue suit. Just remember that part. All right, let's check this out. Hey, y'all. Okay, so we are sitting outside of um, my, my friend's place, waiting on her to get here. She's doing my daughter's hair and makeup today because it is winter formal night. Oh my gosh, how about that? This one's having a panic attack because it's a little later in the day than what we were expecting, but hey, we're gonna get it done and it'll be fine and everything's gonna go perfectly. So see y'all in just a minute. Oh, why is my thing wanting to come on? No, oh, I hope it matches. I think it will, though. I'll make it work. Look at freaking out of the beautiful. <laughs> They're like blue, but the middle is green. It's kind of cool. 
You got like gold plates. So I want to give a special shout out. Thank you to Kristen for doing the hair and makeup. She's a very, very close family friend of ours and she did a fantastic job. Y'all, we had so much fun doing the hair and makeup that day. Just getting to spend time like that with my daughter is so super important to me. And, you know, she really is growing up on me way, way too dad blame fast, y'all. I just can't hardly stand it. She's the baby. Now, <clears throat> she and her brother are 13 months apart. So, they were like having twins pretty much, you know, but they, they're they really growing up on me just way too fast. I can't hardly stand it. I, I love these kids so much, and I have been so blessed with very, very good kids and very well-mannered and um, just great kids. So, I want them to know how proud of them I am and how proud of them I am for, you know, moving forward like they have since everything happened. They they really b pulled their bootstraps up and... and um, you know, did what had to be done. You know, these kids went through a lot. They really did. And they bounced back and they were with me every step of the way through all of it, trying to help and trying to do what they could. And I just couldn't be more proud of them. I hope that y'all enjoy this. Mm -hmm.